Louisiana Beer Reviews Special Edition Dragon Stout Fire Revisited. Okay, so um, <clears throat> reviewed this last year. And I see that some places have it listed with a different label as Dragon Stout Spitfire. But it's also 10%. So Dragon Stout Fire, Dragon Stout Spitfire, and then there's the original Dragon Stout 7.5. So I bought this at the Red, White, and Brew on US Highway 190 eastbound in Hammond, Louisiana. And uh, this was the same price for the 7.5 and this for the six pack. So, um, and the Dragon Stout is very good too. <clears throat> 10% alcohol product of Jamaica. There's no website for it, so I really can't give you any more information. I think I'll try to look up, see if the local distributor has anything on there. I would have done that before, but um, slipped my mind. Uh, brewed and bottled by Desnos and Geddes Limited, Spanish Town Road, Kingston, <clears throat> Jamaica, West Indies, imported by United States Beverage LLC, Stanford, Connecticut. They have it listed on United States Beverage, but they don't say too much either, except to show a photo. Now, Daz knows and get as you know, there, you might know, you probably know, they're mostly famous for Red Stripe Lager beer, <clears throat> the famous Jamaican beer. To a limited extent, the Dragon Stout, but the Dragon Stout Spitfire or the Fire. Not so common. Now, the best buy date is giving me to March of next year. And we're in April of this year, so we have a good date. Now, there's no head of foam at all. <laughs> Just a little bit of foam around the edges. It's got a cola look to it. It's dark brown but not black and you can see brown on the edges as the light shines through this glass so I got the whole six pack the biggest downside is it well it's too it's, it's a, a little bit expensive and secondly uh, <laughs> you only get a 9.6 ounce bottle 9.6 ounces what's the milliliters on that 284 284 milliliters so two of these bottles is a 19.2 ounce tall can you know those stove pipe cans that we're starting to get everywhere now the aroma well <clears throat> it's not a whole lot going on here it's like a faint dark malt but to say that it's super aromatic would not be accurate let's go with the taste There's a strong alcohol presence. Uh, it reminds me of sherry wine, like a strong 18% cream sherry. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, there's a great connection, not in a real sense, but in the flavor sense. Sherry, that would make sense, sense grapes. And I'm picking up raisins here, a raisin, dark raisin connection. Bitterness units, they must be ra rather low. The number could be 40, but in the real world sense, it seems like it's not even 10, you see. Uh, <clears throat> I checked the Crescent Crown last week for Guinness. They said Guinness is 40, talking about the extra stout. <clears throat> No, restate this. The Guinness draft is 40 and the extra stout is 47. Now there's, it's not like uh, Crescent Crown is doing research. They get in this from the this, from the producer, you know that. Um, I 
that's just the way they do it. This one's pretty cold, so I think if you let it warm up a little bit, it'll bring out more flavor. Maybe it should have had a little warmer. Um, but it's got some good demure flavors. The body is uh, on the heavy side, as you would imagine a 10% style would be. Like high, medium, nearly heavy. There's almost like a little mo a black strap molasses flavor in it. Maybe even like the Guinness people say they put a little sour beer in it. It could be that too. Mostly dry finish. So let's go with the uh, sweetness and bitterness scale. Sweetness scale. Well, it's pretty sweet. Like I said, the molasses and all of that and the raisins. So let's say four out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale. If, if you say two out of five hop cones, you're pushing it. Pushing it. It's more like one and a half. So this might not appeal to you. You might say, oh, no, it's going to be too sugary sweet. It's not enough hop bitterness. It'll be unbalanced, this stout and whatnot. It's in the West Indies. These things are popular in the West Indies, you know, with all the heat down there. I don't know why, but uh, the uh, Guinness, uh, the 8% Guinness down there. What is that? The West Indies Porter. The... Um, Foreign Extra Stout down there at seven and a half. <clears throat> Dragon Stout, very popular down there. This one, I guess, is got a following. I mean, they had multiple six packs over there at that at that shop, like five or six six packs. It was well stocked. I don't know if this it's, if it's moving. There's a little chocolate in here also. Well, it's a fabulous product. It's different now if you're used to American 10% Imperial Stouts and um, like the Guinness Foreign Extra, that Antwerp, and, and this is stronger than those, but um, it could throw you a little bit. This is a West Indies Imperial Stout, and I know there's things that are different about it, but I'm having trouble really figuring out. You know it's different, but you can't enunciate what it is. I guess I'd have to do a side-by-side. -side. That would be interesting, like a... Um, let's see, what, Old Rasputin is nine? I'm thinking of one now that's 11, but it's nasty, and I would never confuse it with this. <laughs> um, I'm never going to do that side by side, so there's no use talking about it. All right. Um, yeah, you know, those. some of those are drier. This is sweeter. Like a chocolate raisin candy sweetness. I don't know. It tastes really good. All I can say is, if you can get your hands on Dragon Stout, the seven and a half, get that one first and, and review it, try it. You're going to love it. And then the 10% fire, uh, you're going to say, man, this is fire. This is fire. All right. and this, But it has that sherry note uh, coming on strong at the beginning. Now, I kind of faded as I drunk through it, as I drink through it. Uh, and then if you see the Spitfire, get that. If I see the Spitfire, I'm going to buy it this just to see if there's any difference. But, uh, <clears throat> so how would I score this? Well, I think it deserves an A. Now, it's strange, no, no sediment, that you don't get much head. I mean, that's a little unusual. I mean, on these high gravity things, you, a lot of times you won't get much head of foam, but I mean, there's really none. Um, <clears throat> it's strange that there's no website or anything like that, so. Uh, I don't know. I can't explain it. So I'm going to say 95 out of 100. 9.5 out of 10. It's a most excellent stout. But you're going to pay over $16 well, for a six-pack. Now, I saw Total Wine had it for $11.99, but only 
in Georgia, not anywhere around here. So if you see it for eleven ninety nine, then that's more in a fair price. This one's a little bit over overly priced, especially with that nine point six ounce bottle. But anyway, nine point five out of ten, most excellent stout, and gets a ten out of ten in, in strange and unusual unusualness. <laughs> But I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Kingston, Jamaica and tour the Desno and get us brewery. And they do get tours.